weakening. Design once again ended by my line. The brain is on the cusp of its final thought, and it's taking all of Orpheus's strength to keep it there. An opportunity, perhaps. All thought, all feeling. Your tadpole burns in your brain. Silence. For the first time in a long time, your thoughts are entirely your own. And then... Gravity.
everything you did, everything you sacrificed, it was worth it for this. It's done. The Netherbrain is defeated, along with the grand design, praise Mother Gith. I should feel relieved, yet my blood still simmers. The Parasite. It's withered, dead along with the Netherbrain. I am cleansed. I will never be a filthy geich. Only mild offense intended, of course. You did the unthinkable, and I'm grateful for it. Even when my time in the prism stretched out like eternity, when escape seemed impossible, I never lost hope. I knew that my destiny was to liberate my people, to return to them triumphant. I was wrong. It seems I can only fulfill one part of my destiny. My people will be liberated, but I cannot return to them. Not like this. You helped me destroy that abomination. Now help me destroy myself. You must kill me. But first, Lazel, I need your promise. Carry my hope. Carry my burden. Call my dragons, Kulos and Kuthos, and ride to the Astral Sea. Destroy Vlakith. Release our people. Be our future and our legacy. of my joy. You honor me. Vlakith will fall, and we will plant a seed. From that seed, Githyanki freedom will blossom. Lach crashed, Mac Vlek. So be it. Now, give me my freedom from this form. Yes, but for how long? My mind screams. It will never stop until it has slipped away from me entirely. I will not be Gake. I did what I did to save my people. The rest is up to them. Someone else must rise within the ranks to lead the revolution against Vlakith. Give me my freedom from this form. Release my soul to the astral seas, while I still have one to call my own. to their glory. I shall find a place for myself in a corner of these realms. For even in darkness, the stars of Tunarath will shine upon me. You were a worthy ally. The Githyanki will find they have a noble prince in Orpheus. 
If they do not slaughter him on sight, at least. Kill us! Kill us! Your heart flutters with excitement, aspiration, and even hope. The astral plane awaits. A rebellion takes shape. The future of the Githyanki Empire rests on your shoulders. Battle awaits, and you mean to rise victorious. Soldier, the city's going to be all right, and so are you. Uh, engine's finally cooked, held on just long enough. allow this. Karlak, you're coming with me. Back to Avernus. We can't let her die. Not like this. Not now. You can't. So, what do you say? Die here now, or live on with people who love you. Azariel won't touch you. I swear it, Karlak. All right. All right. We have to go. 
Now. I can't hang on much longer. Thank the gods you've seen sense. Come. To Avernus we go. Our next adventure awaits. It's over. And it's all because of you. You, who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, there will be no illithid empire, no death god's tyranny. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. You are the saviors of Baldur's Gate. Well, soldier, here we are. It worked. My engines calmed down. I shouldn't have let you come here. This isn't going to be easy, you know. Zara's going to come at us with everything she's got. Gods, like clockwork. They'll be on us soon, but there's just enough time. <laughs> Thought I was done with these. But then, there was you lot. are fast but careless don't let them tire you out just get rid of them and don't forget you asked for this better let these fuckers know I'm back and this time I'm not alone Navigating the disordered environs of Limbo, you and Lazel heard the summons, a telepathic emanation. You are accustomed to receiving dispatches and battle orders from the Githyanki rebel forces in this form. But this was different, an invitation to a gathering of friends, those allies who stood with you against the Netherbrain. Those who thwarted the grand design. Those who made your war against Vlacketh's tyranny possible. You cannot join them in person, but you shall be with them again, nonetheless, to project your image through the cosmos. Such is the skill of the Prince of the Comet. You have no doubt it can be done. Thou wert called here, some from above, some below. For with thine bond, together thou hast kept the wheel of fate spinning when it threatened to halt. Though thou wert drawn far apart in the months after the collapse of the Absolute, tonight fate renews thy bond once more thou shouldst take care to preserve it. It is a great weapon wielded in the hand of good. Go. Know one another once more. <laughs> I 
cannot remember the last time I heard the Ballad of the Endless Spring performed. <laughs> now there's a ditty worthy of a knee slap. The past made present. I'm glad for it. For this. Such a home body town. Oh, 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 oh. I expect there have been other reasons. There you are. <laughs> I was hoping you'd make your way over. Starting to wonder if you'd show up. shared something extraordinary, even if we didn't always see eye to eye. Let's leave old squabbles in the past. Oh, come here, will you? It's been forever. more substantial than before. Less camping and scrounging off the land, I take it. Same. In fact, I found a nice meadow not far from where I live now. Every now and again, I'll spend the night there. For old time's sake. I'm glad you seem well. Trudy. Wandering, mostly. The adventuring life is almost a tonic when you're not constantly threatened by brain monsters and cultists. I can finally see the world beyond the cloister. One of my first stops was the House of the Moon in Waterdeep. It's the largest temple of Saluna in existence. It seemed like the perfect spot to reflect on my parents, on where they came from, and where I came from too, I suppose. Hard to imagine, isn't it? Me, of all people, in the lair of the Moon Witch herself. God, your truest act of heroism was putting up with all that char and drivel I was spouting for so long. Oh, I know they are. I can still sense them, I think. And one day we'll be reunited. 
Well, I've had run-ins with my former fellow Sharans on a couple of occasions. Word seems to have spread of what happened at the cloister. Now other chapters of Shah worshippers see me as a prime target to offer up to their lady as a sacrifice. Don't worry. I know their tired old tricks better than anyone. They'll need more than a hooded cloak and poison blade to best me. Especially when I have a friend on the inside keeping me abreast of their predictable little plans. None other. The matter of her faith and allegiances remains... complicated, let's say. But she is still my oldest friend. I have hopes that perhaps she might turn from Shah entirely, given time. But that's a decision she will have to make for herself. If that day comes, I'll be ready. I don't know. Which is just the way I like it just now. Perhaps I'll just stick a pin in a map and see what I find, or head to the docks in the morning and scrounge a berth to find somewhere new. I'd like to see the islands, maybe, or, or head south to Arm. I heard there's an enclave of werecats that hunt the followers of dark gods by moonlight. I'd love to see if there's any truth to that. But enough about me. What have you been up to? Don't be a stranger. I expect there have been other reunions to which I was not. <sighs> I've missed wine. Had to resort to making my own cider recently, which isn't bad, don't get me wrong. But a girl can't have fun with apples alone. <laughs> you might be onto something there, though the name might need work. Somehow it sounds rude. Don't be a stranger. I expect there have been other reunions to which I was not. <laughs> 